welcome to another EA Sports UFC 5 video. Today we got an extra special banger for you as we're talking about five tips on how to get submissions and defend submissions in all of the meta in between in ranked matches and not just any ranked matches. We're talking about high level division 20 ranked matches. I work really hard on the video. Please support your boy, subscribe to the channel. I'm going for 250 likes on this video. Without further ado, let's get into the five tips to help you get submissions in ranked matches. Okay, now the first tip, whenever you get inside of a submission, you cannot spam escapes as this drains your stamina. Here I got Korean Zombie getting totally obliterated by this Conor McGregor in a Division 20 rank match. As soon as I get my first takedown, I get inside of the arm bar. Surprisingly, I still see a lot of players spamming escapes, especially from this position. This only is going to drain your stamina and it's going to end your night early, especially for somebody like Korean Zombie who has a sub offense of 95. In the very first sub attempt, the fight was over. And this brings us to our second tip of submission defense. And what do you do when you find yourself caught in a submission? Sometimes it's best to wait and evaluate. Here I have Ponzinibbio and I find myself getting caught inside of a dark choke. And all I'm doing right here is waiting. I have stamina. I'm in no danger of strikes. And I have the stamina lead. So as long as I defend the submission, I just wait on a visual cue. And if I see that visual cue, I'm going to hold RT and flick up on the right stick to deny the submission attempt. So right here, as soon as I see that visual cue, I have time to deny the submission attempt. And then I go for my escape. But sometimes you may want to use the struggle mechanic after a submission denial. Here again, I got Ponzinibbio. I find myself caught in a arm bar and I'm not spamming escapes. I'm waiting, gaining stamina. When I see my visual cue of the submission attempt, I deny that and my opponent gives up on the submission and I end up winning that match. Normal tutorials just tell you how to press buttons. We telling you some big meta. Tip three, use the struggle mechanic to your advantage when you had a stamina lead. And if you understand this, you take your meta to the next level. I'm constantly evaluating the stamina. And whenever I had that stamina lead, you want to hold R1 to deplete your opponent's stamina. Whenever they're totally depleted of stamina, they can no longer submit you. They can no longer defend. At that point, you're free to escape. And this applies for both defense and offense. Here, I'm on top with Pantoja delivering strikes, but that takes away my stamina, so I can't deliver too many strikes. But every time I deny my opponent's escapes, their stamina goes down. And when I had a stamina lead, I'm gonna hold R1, dive all the way down on their stamina. At that point, they cannot defend and you get a guaranteed submission. Okay, now this brings us to our fourth tip. Submissions are stronger after denials. You wanna go for a submission when you have momentum. Here I have Grasso. I deny my opponent's escape. Then I go for the rear naked choke, which is relatively faster a lot faster here and get the submission again here i have rafael Faziv, and i got my opponent in a ghillie and look at that my opponent's going for escape fake and after i deny that escape then i go for that very fast submission crazy okay now in this example i want you to look at how fast the submission is after i deny my opponent's escape watch this arm triangle very fast submission right here and it's pretty much guaranteed but you gain so much momentum when you go for a submission after you deny your opponent's escape okay now this brings us to our fifth and final tip a nuance that i haven't seen discussed always know the arm bar entry denial and the best way to defend against the arm bar is not getting to the arm bar in the first place so always know where it's coming from the very same side that your opponent entered the mount is going to be the same side that you defend that arm bar or if you're on top that's the same side that the arm bar is going to be on so here amanda nunez on top enters full mount on the right side then the arm bar defense and offense 
is going to be on that right side. So if you want to pre-deny, pre-deny right because you know that's where that arm bar is. Now, this arm bar can be entered into from various positions. If your opponent is on the bottom in full guard or even triangle choke, the arm bar option is going to be down to deny. And that will sweep you right into the arm bar. So be cognizant of that. From back city, you want to go from this underhook side. So in this case, it'll be the right side of the screen where you want to denial because that's where that arm bar is going to come from. Also, arm bars can come from any type of sweep position. Even after a successful rear naked choke, you're going to see Fazeev enter into the mount going to the right side of the camera. So it's camera relative. So you got to be cognizant of that because you may not be good at reacting to the animations. This way you'll always know where the arm bar is. The arm bar is one of the most dangerous positions in the game that can do a lot of damage. So understand where it is at all times. If you have any questions on the video or submissions, leave them in the comments below. And just to support your boy, drop a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.